Hello, hope you're doing great. Reza is here. Welcome to another tutorial to learn about VIA Solver. Let's go to Program tab. When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the Download Files option appears, you can download the example files. In the first step, let's go and check the detectors. So we have right now few collision detectors in the list. You can see in the first one, that's the detector for the pass. And the detector has the tool, the robot, and also the wire feeder. This wire feeder component. So that we check that wire feeder also doesn't collide while doing the tasks. So this is list A. And in the collision detector, there is a list B. So we want to avoid the collision between list A and list B. So obviously the list B here should be also the workpiece. But as you see, it's empty. We will add list B automatically. And I'm going to show you shortly how that's done. There is also the VIA detector. The VIA detector has similar components. But this is for the VIA points. So if I come over here, as you see also the tool is being pointed to using this red border cube around the tool. But if I extend it, you see that over here wire, which is at this tip of the tool, is also selected because we don't want that to collide with other components while the robot is going around. But the process detector is, for example, during welding. If I come and check the tool, you see that wire here is unchecked because we don't mind the colliding or basically we don't want to check the collision for the wire during a welding. Now, in the next step, I'll select the robot. Let me close the collision detectors. And then when robot is selected, I'm going to click on settings and go to robot settings. Since at this point I'm interested in the robot collision detectors, I go directly to the setup panel and then I check the robot collision detectors. And as you see, there is the process detector and the via detector activated. They were also in the list for the detectors over here. When I click on the process detector, as you see, the processes and the searches are going to be checked. These type of motions will be checked. And also the workpiece, as I told you, it will be automatically updated to the list B where I showed you in the detectors. So when I add the weld or the pass somewhere, that will be automatically updated to our collision detector. The same thing applies to the VIA detector. For the workpiece, of course, but for the motions, we want to check the VIA motions in the VIA detector. This is prerequisite when you want to do the VIA solver. So now that we reviewed the collision detector, let's go and create a weld. I'm going to use this button here. You can also create the path from here. The hover panel includes some of these details, as you see, they are more reachable. Now I just go and make the path. And when I click over here, it's automatically created the path. If I just select this and try to redo it, I show you how this automatic thing is being done. This time I use this button. And as you see now, on the right side, there is the topology analysis menu and there is the auto option activated. So that means that when I click over here, the path is automatically created. Let me click there and we have a path. So now I have to check the path to validate it. So extras, check path. The other way to go there is also when the path is selected, you can also come over here to check the path. Extras, check path. There is also the program validation tool, but that's for multi-robot tasks. 
right now we have a single robot and a single path that we want to check when i click on it you see that it opens up as a window down here you can check the whole program the sequence or only the selected statement that's what i'm going to do now on the gear button you show that what is going to be checked reachability joint limits singularity and collisions also color coded there is also the step size this is right now 10 millimeters by default but of course if i increase the step size it means that there will be less accuracy but of course it will take less time to check for these issues but if i make a smaller step size we will have obviously higher accuracy but then it will take longer time to check and validate the program then there is also the auto set status if you see over here there is the icon so if i press check let's see what happens so you see our path is 18 percent okay during most of the path there is some collision apparently but i just show you this so there was this auto set status and as you see over here there is a red dot meaning that the status is red something is wrong we have to solve it first of all let's check what's the problem i can use this bar and move it to check our program if i activate the collision detector it will be shown a bit better what's the problem okay now you see obviously the robot is colliding with the workpiece that is not good right now we are colliding with the workpiece but no worries if i come over here there are a few tabs that can help us i'm gonna go to this auxiliary tab that's where we have the auxiliary devices we have one three axis gantry and a two axis positioner i'm gonna go to the gantry one so i need to click here and then with this mouse scroller i'm gonna scroll up and down look what happens now so we are changing this auxiliary device values this looks good and now it is applied to the whole path let's check again we went from 18 percent to 89 percent now still there are a couple of collisions over here there is this one point it looks like the tool is colliding and also on the other side again the tool is colliding with the workpiece so we need a tool solver right now that's also an automatic tool is this option while the path is selected just click on solve tool path and it will take care of it automatically for us I go to output panel what happened here it says weld one tool path solved weld one is okay let's go back to the path check window and press check again okay now you see our path is 100 percent okay let's check it once together robot approaches starts the weld at the very last spot starts to make some rotation and the approach beautiful now the purpose to create this weld was to create another weld somewhere else and go from this first weld to the second weld so let's create another weld on the other side as you see this is a symmetrical shape so i'm gonna clone this weld or this path to the other side as well i'm gonna select it there is also clone tool here 
and also there is clone tool here and also over here either one that you're comfortable with it automatically found that there are surfaces on both sides and it's asking me do you want to clone it in this way you see this type of bluish shadow over here well if you're not happy with that you can just simply again click on this set clone reference select this face and then select this face so it will find you your preferred cloning location to quickly review what are other clone options you can also clone using the distance you can clone plane to plane well the mirror cloning the one that i just used now vector cloning and circular cloning if you're happy with what you see press apply let's have a second weld so now i have weld one which is the other side and weld two which is new one and on this side one thing i would do is press reset i would like to have also the home position so let's create a point to point motion as home position and what i can do now again in this path check i would check the whole program for the robot this time and press check it goes through all the statements and you see over here it's 92 percent okay but something is wrong over here so while we are trying to approach there is a collision and then also when we are going from the first weld to the second weld we are colliding with the workpiece okay how to fix these it's actually pretty easy first of all we want to go from this p1 to the first point of the weld one without any collision no problem we can use the via solver right click solve via path but if you want to have more control on the settings then click on via solver settings since we are learning here i would like to just go quickly and talk about this here is a little bit of description how to use it so you need to have the collision detectors and then some presets so you can save your settings and then load them and use them later and then also some general settings some solution time some smoothing time that's the maximum time that the algorithm uses to improve the results then some interpolation step right now is 10 millimeter by default you can also always add a path this option is deactivated it means that if you don't need a via path the solver will not make you one but you can also force it to do so and then some speed values right now i can press solve and here you see on the left side very soon a set of via points that are between p1 and then the weld one you see a group of points p1 weld one via path was solved successfully thank you very much here are the wire points and then we go there then we want to go from weld one to weld two let's also solve that this time i just click simply on the solve via path and it will automatically create those points for us beautiful weld one to weld two a few set of points press ok you know what should i do now exactly let's check the whole program again and see how the via solver helped us 99 percent let's check again okay it's not 100% yet. Let me press play. 
if I just go over here. Yes, you see the point, there was some collision there. So over here, what I would do, you see that it's linear V3, that's the point. So I'm gonna click on that point, bring it up, bring it a little bit to the left. And then if I'm happy with this position, then I can press the touch up. So I manually fix this one point. I think there was also another point that was very close to the positioner and the workpiece. I would also maybe change this point. This is also very close. Let's just bring it here and up. And yeah, it's this V2. I should have first click here. This way and this way and touch up now let's check again see if this time we will reach this 100 percent exactly now you see it's 100 percent okay the weld points created via solver used and we have a hundred percent validated program now it's time to post process this program to the specific robot brand that you have and take it to the factory floor okay that's what i wanted to show you happy olp have a good one and bye for now